Well, Neil, uh, first one in the books. How's it feel? That's good. Uh, I'm happy for the guys. Um, you know, obviously, uh, it's not uh, how you draw it up at the start of the week. Uh, the guys responded well. You know, we had a good practice yesterday. Uh, we had a good morning skate today, and then they were pros, uh, and that's what impressed me the most. So uh, we came out the right way, uh, and I thought the guys uh, earned the two points that they got tonight. It's almost the ideal game, kind of almost boring in a way, the yeah. predicted and by the schedule compared to the tumult of last week of the week. Yeah, you know what? I, I think both teams play pretty structured in a couple areas, and um, it's almost a little bit of a chess match at certain points. And um, you know, both teams have obviously been done their homework and pre-scouts and. Uh, we knew in order to create our offense, we'd have to get pucks in behind their D and try and get to work, and uh, they had a similar plan. So uh, it may have been a, a little boring from up top, but at the end of the day, uh, we executed what we need to execute um, to get the two points. You guys were able to get the lead in this one, something that you'd had some trouble with in the past. Just talk about that and the way it changes the game plan. Yeah, you know what? We've been playing pretty good hockey um, over the last really you know, eight to ten games, starting on that uh, second game in Toronto, uh, Sunday afternoon game. Uh, you can start to see uh, we take a turn in the right direction. Uh, and you know what? The, the results are starting to follow suit. So right now our details are much sharper um, than they were earlier in the season. And that's going to happen with a young team. So uh, it's growing. Uh, it's going to continue to grow. Uh, but what we like right now is that we are taking steps. Speaking of youth, uh, you and Travis both uh, 34, 35. I mean, yeah. how, how do you take that as a, you know, moving in that new youth direction? Yeah, well, he's 35, so we were, we were saying he's the old guy on the bench. But uh, no, you know what? It's, at the end of the day, um, this is my eighth year coaching professional hockey, and um, uh, age isn't a big um, thing to me. And if anything, you know, we can relate to what some of these guys are going through on a day-to-day -day basis, not being too far removed ourselves. And um, you know, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's about the guys in the room. They stepped up, and they got it done. How has Travis's role as a coach kind of evolved? I mean, I know this yeah. was originally supposed to be the figure it out year, and Obviously, this was a twist that probably no one was expecting, but what, how have you seen him kind of evolve into that coaching side of the game? Yo, you know what? Even from the beginning of the season, um, the thing that impressed me the most about him is his competitive spirit. Um, when he gets on the ice, whether it's a practice um, or it's game time, you can see the passion he has for hockey uh, and the passion he has for winning, uh, and, and it's pretty cool. So, you know, starting the year as a development coach, you know, the wealth of knowledge he had to offer to some of our younger guys, um, you know, guys, um, you know, that are first, second year pros, uh, you know, and even the veterans, you know, everyone looks up to him, and I think that's important. So, you know, for him to now hop on as the assistant coach, um, you know, it's as smooth as a transition as you could ask for. Uh, and I was impressed. I was his first game ever behind a bench. You know, I looked down a couple times, and, uh, you know, he was calm, he was poised. Um, he did what he needed to do to give those guys the best opportunity to succeed. Um, you know, so it was a good first day for the group. Now, how important was it? Uh it seems like sometimes it's easier to manage defensemen. Is that why you jumped in, you jumped up to forward and had him managing the D? No, I, I think, um, you know, put it this way, I, I've been running um, forwards uh, the last four years as a head coach, so um, if anything, I'm probably a little more comfortable in that, in that we'll facet. But, um, you know, oh, you know, and for Travis to run the D, it, that's how we're going to do it moving forward. Um, you know, at the end of the day, he sees the game well. So whether it's forwards, whether it's D, um, he knows hockey. Um, he knows what we want to do as a team, um, and that's an easy adjustment for him. And at the end of the day, you know, he's going to bring ideas to the forwards. I'm going to bring ideas to the D, and it's going to be by committee, and that's what a, a good staff does. And, um, you know, he's a very welcomed addition. As far as a couple cleanup areas for you guys, you're playing two more games this weekend. Uh, just talk about the special teams. Obviously, the penalty kill was good going five for five, but uh, the power play having seven opportunities. What did you think from them? Yeah, no, obviously uh, the penalty kill stepped up, and, and that was important. You know, it seemed like it was a night for the PKs on both sides. Um, you know, the power plays had a couple looks. You know, I'd like to sustain a little more end zone time and a little more um, pressure. You know, there was times we had the puck, but we didn't get a whole lot of second and third opportunities. So it's something we'll address and something we'll work at. Uh, and at the end of the day, you know, it, it was a lot quick, um, and we wanted to keep some continuity uh, moving forward. And uh, once we have a look at it here, we can make the necessary adjustments, and uh, it's going to be a work in progress, as all things are. Uh, but uh, it's something we'll continue to work on. Anthony Lewis has looked really good over the last couple of games, but he kind of had his coming out party here tonight, didn't he? Yeah, you know what? He was playing fast. Um, I like the way he was moving through the neutral zone. Um, he made some high offensive, high skill plays, um, you know, in some tough areas, and he executed it well. So um, he's been very good um, since we acquired him a few weeks back. Um, he fit right into the, into the locker room, um, and his style of play, um, you know, has, has sparked us uh, in an offensive way. And, and he's, he's an honest player. You, you see him on the back check. You see him tracking through the neutral zone. Um, you know, we've been very happy with him so far, and now we just got to keep it going.